Hello Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for November 20. Please keep in mind po that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates po. And live what doesn't for someone else. And maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. And maraming salamat po sa iyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. And if you are new here, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell po para updated kayo sa mga readings. And the why, lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat, Capricorn. And yung mensahe ninyo for today is think it through. And we have the new moon in Gemini. So, Capricorn, maaaring you have a strong a Gemini placement in your chart or maaaring you are dealing with a Gemini. So, yung mensahe po sa inyo is think it through. And uh, we have the new moon here which represents new beginning. So, there is a new beginning, there is a fresh start na inyong yayakapin dito Capricorn. Maaaring uh, this is a change na iyong gagawin no? in some facets of your life. Maaaring sa trabaho yan, maaaring sa relationship, maaaring uh, sa family yan. So, it could be in any facet of your life dito na maaaring gustong gusto mo na na magkaroon ng pagbabago. So, yung mensahe ng card na to sa iyo is think it through. No? Yung pagbabago, for me as a reader, no, I always love change because ibig sabihin na uh, laging presko, laging uh, may pagkakataon para gawin mo yung mga gusto mong gawin pa, na bago, laging uh, may pagkakataon na makagagawa ka ng panibagong istorya ng iyong buhay. Uh, that's why change is always uh, very beautiful for me as a reader. And uh, Dito, Capricorn, sa iyong gagawing pagbabago sa iyong buhay, sinasabi sa iyo na think it through before you take action. Para makasiguro ka kahit pa paano na tama ang iyong gagawin, nasa tama kang track, nasa tamang path ang iyong uh, gagawing pagbabagong ito. It will benefit you. It will be for the best interest ng nang hindi lang ikaw but also yung mga taong nasa paligid mo na maaring maapektuhan ng change na ito yung ganun ba so pag-isipan mong mabuti no weigh things out uh, i-sort out mo ano ba yung mga pros and cons ano ba yung mga advantages nito disadvantages nito para sa akin yung mga ganun ba so ito yung sinasabi sa iyo this is a nudge for you before you do any action no uh, towards that change na iyong gagawin or or even hindi dito sa uh, pagbabago na, na ito even if hindi ito related sa transformation so kung anumang endeavor ang iyong gagawin dito Capricorn no? for some of you um, pag-isipan mong mabuti himayin mo muna yung iyong plano uh, make sure na handa ka sa anumang pwedeng mangyari. Kasi maaring uh, merong mga challenges na maaring ma-encounter along the way, di ba, sa iyong mga endeavors. So, magandang meron kang plan A, meron kang plan B. So, there may be a uh, re-evaluation na kailangan mong gawin at this time, di ba? So, pag-isipan mong mabuti, ano ba yung mas makakabuti pa dito sa aking gagawin? Ano ba yung mas uh, mapapadali ang pag-execute uh, ko ng, ng planong ito? Yung ganon. So, tignan mo maigi, look at the bigger picture para alam mo yun, mahimay mong mabuti ang iyong plano before you take action, before you make things happen dito. So, Capricorn, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading nito in some way. Thank you for watching. Watching, love and light. Namaste. Hello Virgo. I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for November 20. Please keep in mind for that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So this will not resonate with everyone. This will not resonate for and what doesn't for someone else. And maraming salamat po sa inyong mga 
uh, mensahe, sa inyong mga komento. Maraming salamat sa pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. And kung bago naman po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell po para updated kayo sa mga readings. And naway, lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat, Virgo. And yung mensahe ninyo is the new moon in Capricorn. Step up and lead. So, Virgo, maaaring meron kayong uh, strong Capricorn placement sa iyong chart or maaaring you are dealing with another earth sign dito, Capricorn. So, uh, there is a new beginning dito na inyong yayakapin, Virgo, is what I am uh, picking up right here. So, maaaring this is a change na iyong gagawin in some facets of your life or... Maaring this is a new beginning in uh, in your career, maaring bagong trabaho to, maaring uh, bagong uh, posisyon sa trabaho, maaring uh, sa family uh, unit ito, na, na change na ito, it could be in any area of your life. But uh, this is a fresh start kung ano man tong uh, area ng buhay mo ang affected dito. And uh, ang iba sa inyo Virgo is really uh, going to assume into a new position sa trabaho. Is what I am picking up here. Some of you are going to be promoted sa trabaho. So you are going to lead no sa nang isang departamento. Maaring you are going to lead a company or maaring you are going to lead a group, an institution, maaring ganun. And, uh, I feel dito, Virgo, that you are going to step into a leadership role dito. So, maaring yung promotion na yan is going to be a high rank position sa kumpanya and you are going to lead the people there. You are going to lead the, the company dito or or a certain department dito is what I am picking up. I feel that uh, some of you dito, you are really born to be a leader, you know, Virgo? Kasi uh, may kakayanan kayo, meron kayong eye para sa pag-inspire ng mga tao. Meron kayong capability, no, to lead people, to be the beacon for others. You are a leader. You are a leader in your own way, Virgo is what I am picking up here. And you are going to step up and you are going to lead ngayon. Kung baga tinatawag ka na ng iyong mission, I feel that being a leader, you know, is your mission in life ngayon. That's why you are being put into that position because you own ang iyong mission. So, Virgo, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste. Hello, Taurus. I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for November 20. Please keep in mind po that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So, this will not resonate with everyone. This day could resonate po and leave what does, of course, someone else. And maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago naman po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell po para updated kayo sa mga readings. And naway lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking langing dasal para sa inyong lahat, uh, Taurus. So, Taurus, we have lightened up. And the last quarter moon and Leo. So, Taurus, maaaring meron kayong a strong Leo placement in your chart or maaaring you are dealing with a Leo. And uh, yung mensahe ninyo is lighten up, Taurus. Maaaring you are so overwhelmed ng mga bagay-bagay uh, sa inyong buhay ngayon. Maaaring ang dami mong obligasyon, responsibilidad, maaaring ang dami mong trabaho sa opisina. Um, but you have too much on your plate is what I am picking up here. That is what I am seeing here. Yung parang ang dami-dami mong inaasikaso sa buhay, Taurus. And uh, you are being nudged here to lighten up.
no? Taurus, get back to your center daw. Get back to your center kasi parang you're all over the place. Yung parang hindi ka na nakakapag-concentrate ngayon kasi parang aligaga ka na dahil sa dami mong iniisip na dami mong gagawin, dami mong obligation yung parang ganun. <laughs> so, um, lighten up. Kailangan mo muna ngayon magpahinga, no? Uh, put yourself into stillness. Mag-meditate ka. Have time to pray. Spend time alone, no? Um, put yourself into solitude. Take a breather. Yun ang inyong kailangan ngayon, Taurus. Yun ang sinasabi ng card na to. You need to declutter your life. You need to declutter yourself. You need to declutter your heart, your mind. And uh, para makapag, uh, ano ka, rejuvenate ka. You need to recuperate kasi parang super stressed ka na. Sa, you know, yung katawan mo, maybe nakakaramdam ka na na pagod ka na. Pagod ka na physically, pagod ka mentally, and emotionally. Sa dami mong inaasikaso, no? Napakasipag mo, Taurus. Nakakaloka. <laughs> this, that is what I am really seeing na parang ang dami-dami mong ginagawa. Ang dami-dami mong iniisip. Ang dami-dami mong dinidiskarte. Parang there are so many people na depending on you, no? Parang ikaw yung takbuhan ng mga tao. Takbuhan ng inyong mga kapatid, pamilya, magulang katrabaho, kaibigan, oh my God, Taurus, napakabait mo, napakalaki ng iyong puso, no? You are very compassionate. Taurus is what I am picking up here. Kaya, ang dami mong ginagawa, ang dami mong inaasikaso because pati hindi mo ka pamilya, ikaw yung takbuhan, inaasikaso mo pa rin. Oh my God, Taurus, uh, pagawang kita ng Ganyan, ganyan kalaki ang iyong puso, Toro. So, now it's time to lighten up, okay? Uh, Mag-declutter ka muna ng iyong isip so that you can get back to your core, you can get back to your center, and with that, you know, makaka-breathe naman ang iyong mga cells sa katawan so that maging, uh, ano ka uli, makapag-refresh ka, kumbaga, parang makapag, uh, ano tawag dito, recharge ka, makapag, Uh, recuperate ka because you also need to refill your cup Taurus and now is the time to do that kasi parang yung ano mo kumbaga sa gulong depleting na yung yung hangin ng iyong gulong parang your your cup is is almost empty na so kailangan mo na mag refill ng iyong cup so that madami ka pa uling lakas energy, oras, panahon attention concern, love, no care na maibibigay sa mga taong umaasa sa iyo, sa mga taong pinagsisilbihan mo. But now is the time for yourself. Okay, Taurus, now is the time for yourself. Sit back, relax, and uh, take a breather. That is what you need right now. So, Taurus, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste.